Hi guys, welcome to Mindful Midlife where we have everything for the midlife woman in beauty, health, home. I'm glad you guys are here. Today's video is going to be an empties video. So this is all the trash of all pretty much beauty supplies this time, but I have one house thing and this is stuff that I will tell you if I would purchase it again or if it was definitely a no-go for me. So let's get into it. First, the home thing because most of this is, in fact, I think all of it's beauty. This one is laundry stuff that I got on Amazon called Molly's Suds. And I will say to you, I loved this and I am repurchasing. I'm trying to get through some of my homemade stuff. If you are new to me, I put out a video, oh my goodness, many years ago, where I made my own laundry soap and I loved it for years, years and years and years. And I just kind of got tired of making it and I wanted a good alternative. I had Amazon up and I thought, let's try out Molly's Suds and I can tell you this has been a win. They also have a whitener that I swear by. I think it is the best whitener. I don't even use bleach anymore. The thing that I like about this is that it is all derived from natural ingredients. This will do 120 loads and it is just wonderful. And I got the um, fragrance peppermint. It doesn't really smell much. It, well, it does have an odor to it once you have it, but it's not strong. You can always add a fragrance to it. But this has been a wonderful, I'm definitely repurchasing. One of the things, you guys are gonna laugh because it looks like this. I actually cut it. This is from, oh my word, the, the uh, I cut off the brand name. What's it called? A ha ha. Uh, not a ha ha. A hava. A H A V A. I got it on Amazon. This is made, they say, from Dead Sea Water. I've talked about it before, but this is absolutely my favorite hand cream. Favorite, favorite. I love the um, water one, the scent of it. Rachel will say she doesn't like it. She thinks it smells like um, baby powder. I don't, I don't see that, but this is just such a good hand cream. I have already repurchased it. It sits at my desk at work and I love it and it's expensive. So I cut it so I could get all of it out of it. So I have a few, few hair products. Some of them will be of no surprise. One of them is a Kenra 25 bottle. I love this hairspray. I've used this for years. It's not cheap, but I have yet to find an alternative that is drugstore pricing. So I'll keep buying this until I can find that. I think it's good because it gives you a stronghold without being like a helmet on your head. And especially when I've got short, I mean, longer hair, I don't want it to like move all one thing like a reporter on the news does. I don't like that look. So love this. Okay. I have a few dry shampoos. In fact, I have three. Oh my. This is one I've talked about before. This is the Aussie Bounce Back Dry Shampoo. It says it's full cleansing volume. I really did like this. This is probably my second or third bottle. And I am trying some other ones, so I haven't purchased another one yet of these, but I would buy it again. The second one was from... I guess it's called Water Less. I think I got this at Target. And let me get my glasses on so I can read this because it's been a while since I used this. But this says dry shampoo, obviously. No residue, invisible spray, cleans and refreshes roots, great for fine or oily hair. Well, obviously, it's obviously for oily hair, it's dry shampoo. It says it's paraben free and sulfate free. I liked this one as well. Of the two of these, I would buy this one again out of, of this one. But I would buy this again too. If like I couldn't find this one, I would certainly buy this one again. So I liked both of them. I do not remember the smells. Oh my goodness, let me see if I can get this. Yes, I do like the smell of this one. It's rather strong, but not like overpowering strong. Let me try this one. There's like nothing in here, like nothing, literally nothing's coming out. It's air. But this one has a, a lighter scent than this one, if I'm getting it correctly. Then I tried this one. This one is not drugstore pricing, it is expensive. By far, this one's the better of all three of these. This is, this literally does make my hair feel clean. 
I, I'm amazed by this thing. I think I could go an entire week without washing my hair if I had this. Now, does it come out with a, a white cast? Yes. Does it go away? Yes. Does it have a strong scent? Oh my heart, yes. Oh my heart, yes, yes, yes. So would I buy this again? I, I would love to buy it again. I have a hard time spending as much money as this one is, especially because it's not a huge bottle. We're talking four ounces here. So I think it's very high priced, but it really does work good. So I guess if you had a coupon or a gift card or something like that, maybe. Now, I also tried this as a Mika. I got this during Sephora's VIB sale. I really like this one a lot. I think I like this one better. The smell of this one's better, and I got the little one, so I think this one's pretty expensive as well. I don't know if they're comparable, but I need to look up the prices. I'll put it here on the screen so you guys can see the prices. But if I were going to pick two, if price were no object here, for the cleanliness, I'd choose this. For the smell, I'd choose this, because this one's really strong. Living Proof, I literally, like, take it down 75%. You do not need to have so much fragrance in these things. And the last hair product is this Function of Beauty. I got this at Amazon. No. I got this at Target and they have, I put this in my Yahoo's and Boo. So if you wanna see everything you need to know, well, not even not everything, but how I truly feel about this, I will, you can go to my Yahoo's and Boo's video. I will link it below because this one is something I really loved. In fact, I've already purchased another one and it's wonderful because you can pick how you want it to, the ingredients you want to add to it and you get it at, at Target and you don't have to pay for the pricing that it used to be or you'd have to get a subscription. Huh, I'm in love with this. So this is a wonderful thing and uh, this is a shampoo and I did use the conditioner as well. Okay, I used up a CeraVe, the gentle cleansing. This is no surprise, you guys know I've used this for years. I will say though, since I've been using tretinoin, this kind of stings my skin. It never did before, but now that my skin is a little bit more sensitive because of tretinoin, maybe it'll change. I have another bottle in my medicine cabinet that I'm going through, but right now I'm using another product instead of this, and you can go to my Yahoo's and Boo's and watch that, and you'll see what I'm using instead that is almost the same thing, but it doesn't sting. So that's one of the things I'm wondering why it's stinging, but I've heard other people say that. But other than that, I love this product. You guys know I love Clinique's Take the Day Off when I have these. And I had a, I had a whole bunch of these to use up because they had had a sale on their site and I got them. Absolutely my favorite cleansing balm. It is just the best, but it's pricey. So since then, I have switched. Well, I still am using one of these. I have another one of these almost done. But in between those and the one I'm using now, I did try and emptied an e.l.f. cleanser as well. It's Holy Hydration Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. And this is wonderful. It is almost a complete dupe, but way less money. The only, only complaint I have with this is it does have a scent and it's relatively strong but i if you're truly truly struggle with a fragrance in your skincare i would steer clear of this but if you don't have any problem with it or because you're going to wash it off you might not have a problem it's not like it's staying on your skin i use this to get my makeup off and then i go in with obviously this or the other one i was just talking about to cleanse my face again so you might not have a problem if you're sensitive to fragrances but who knows you might have to try it. but hello total dupe except the fragrance and so much less money. So yay for this one. Okay, two moisturizers. I love both of these. This is called Skin Renewing Night Cream and this is the Facial Moisturizing Lotion PM and both of these are wonderful. And I will use this one more in the winter. In the summer, this is good for me in the evening more than this. I don't need as much moisture in the summer. But these, I've used them for years. I will continue to use those. Okay, more skincare, of course. I have the CeraVe Ultra Light Moisturizing Lotion. This is SPF, SPF 30. 
And this, obviously I've used this up and I already have another one. I also have a ton of other facial moisturizers because skinstore.com sent me some and I've been using those up. So this, I have one in the middle, almost gone, but then I stopped and went to the skin store ones that were sent to me because I wanted to try them out. Love the ones that they sent as well. And those are also in my Yahoo's and Boo's video. So you're gonna have to, you guys have to watch that one. Okay, another skin product is the CeraVe Soothing Bath Wash. Now, I love CeraVe. Clearly I love CeraVe because I have tons of product here. Here's the thing. I didn't like this at all. I mean, I shouldn't say at all. I thought it was an okay product. It was a body wash. Whatever, it's fragrance free. I liked that. It's good for dry skin. The only thing I didn't like, and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this because I think it's all gone, but okay, it's not totally. See how runny it is? That is so hard to do that. And then like I wanted to use it and put it on my skin and it would run off my hand. It's, I had a hard time getting it to my skin unless you'd like dribble it all over your skin. I'm like, Thicken it up a little bit, making it so it's easier to get it onto your skin. I don't, is that silly? I don't know. It just, I felt like I wasted a bunch because by the time I turned my hand over to put it on my leg, like to shave my leg or something like that, I felt like half of it was on the, sh the shower floor and I just felt like it was a waste. So I just think it's a good product, but I think they need to add some thickness to it. And now I need to go wash my hand. <laughs> Okay, so more skincare. Obviously, skincare is the easiest one because you go through it so much. But you guys, probably if you've been around here any length of time, know if you've seen my skincare routine, these should be of no surprise. These are the Ordinaries. Let me make sure they all are the same thing. I have one that is the Ordinaries Rosehip Seed Oil, and I have two that is their Squalane. Love both of these products. I use these day and night. So it... I, I do have a skincare routine video that you guys can watch. It's updated, it's simple, it's inexpensive, and I have used it in conjunction with my tretinoin, and it is working out wonderfully. I say that at the end of that, like maybe this will change and I'll let you know, I'm letting you know. I don't need to change it because these have kept my skin from really having that peeling and oh, it's been wonderful. So watch that video. You can see how I use these two products and how much I use and it's just a wonder. So I have one of these, two of these and love it. I also used this. This is ten, It's Skin. So it's, that's how it's called, It's Skin. And I got these on Amazon. They have a whole bunch of different ones. This one is the Skin Ill Effector Power 10 Formula. The whole back of it is in another language. <laughs> I think Korean or Chinese. Please forgive me, I do not know. This is the Licorice Root Extract. I would say I, I, did, I have not purchased it and I won't purchase it again. I noticed no different. Licorice Root is supposed to help you with redness in your skin. Well, I used the entire bottle and I noticed no difference. I, and when I stopped using it, it's not like my skin changed at all or anything like that. So to me, this wasn't worth it. Now, I know other people swear by it and love it. So it's not like it might not, it might work for you. It just didn't work for me. Two more skincare products. One is I've used up a bottle of Carousel. This is for your feet. This takes off my calluses. Now, I will say a woman contacted me on my comments and said, I used this and it didn't work. And after talking back and forth just a tiny bit with her, I realized, or she said, I've only used it a couple times. This is not one of those immediate things. This is something you put on your feet like nightly or every time you take a shower. I put a little bit, a dab, like just a pea size on each foot on the calloused areas. And then I put cotton socks over it and I use this pretty much on a daily basis. What it does is, is it fully exfoliates your dead skin a little bit at a time, just like you would do on you know, acids on your face, it's doing it on your feet. 
It is a wonderful product. I have never had cracked feet or anything since I started using this on a regular basis. I used up a bottle of Jergens Glow, Natural Glow. I love this product. I also, there is knockoff products of this, like at Target, CVS, I would buy that as well. I think that they're just as good. So this is wonderful. I need to repurchase. I have been dying. I have not repurchased. I've been using another product, which I'm liking as well. I think I talk about it in my yahoos and boos. I think I do. I think it's a good product. It's just a completely different product. So I will pre repurchase this one again because it's just a maintenance kind of thing and it's a lotion and I love that. Oh, I found another. This must be a rose hip. Oh, so I did have two. I had two rose hip seed oils and two squalane, so silly me. Okay, I used up one of my deodorants. This is my favorite deodorant by far. Absolutely, there's no white cast, so if you're looking for a good, solid deodorant, antiperspirant, I love this one. This one works so well. I've used it for years. I'm not married to any of the scents. I think this is the clean scent. And I do like this, although it smells a little bit like baby powder, and Rachel told me, mom, warn them because no one likes that. I'm like, I love the smell of baby powder. Apparently she doesn't. So try, if you're looking for a good one that's also antiperspirant, this one's a good one. Oh, I do have two products. Um, I have two makeup products. I have an e.l.f. This is the Wow Brow. This is one of my favorites. I love this product for getting the little hairs that are blonde on my brows colored. So that one I used up, love that product. And this is NYX Worth the Hype. I do like this mascara. I like the brush. I think that when this starts to dry out, which is a lot of mascaras, it starts to have um, flakiness. So you gotta be aware of that, but this is a good mascara. This is waterproof. I only wear waterproof. Oh, this is also a home product. This has nothing to do with beauty, but I thought I would tell you guys. You might not know if this is your first video watching me. I'm on the keto, I'm on a weight loss journey. So I'm always looking for something to um, make that journey easier and drinking water is important, but I have a hard time drinking just water constantly. So I do try to drink just water most of the time, but once in a while I like to add a little bit of flavor and I really like this. This is a Mio and it's a liquid in there and it's very concentrated. So all you need a couple squirts and a lot of water. Some of you will not like this because I know it's got chemicals and things like that. I know, don't come at me in the comments that this is a chemical, I get it. But I like to use it. I have this at my desk at work so I can add a little bit of flavor if I know I need to drink more, but I'm just not feeling it for the water. The lemonade is my favorite. I also love the fruit punch, but it's um, very staining, like literally your tongue will look red. <laughs> so again, not very healthy for you, but I'm just being honest, I like this. <laughs> Yay, I'm so glad I get to throw all this stuff away now. I'll see you guys in the next video, God bless. Okay, welcome to Did You Know? So three things that are just topics that might be about the video and they may not be. All right, number one. So a couple months ago, I did a morning routine where I showed, I just, I just showed you my morning. It was very, all just music. It was a really fun video to do. But in it, it said that I woke up at 4.30 every morning without an alarm. That is now a lie. No, it wasn't a lie when I did it. But since I've been doing keto, I literally sleep so much more. And I wake up around six o'clock now, which is just wonderful. So I just wanted to say it's a lie, but it's a good lie. <laughs> Number two is this is the first time in my life that I have had long hair for any length of time. My entire high school years and most of my adulthood, I had short, short hair, like pixie hair, really, really short. And a couple years ago, I decided to grow it out and I've never looked back. I actually like my hair so much better long. It's a lot more work. It really is. Shorter hair is a lot easier. Although it's wonderful to just be able to like put it up in a clip or something like that. 
and I use glasses a lot to just kind of pull it back. But this is the first time I've had it long for any length of time. Okay, <laughs> this one's kind of funny. I have a little bit of an obsession with calendars, day timers. I mean, I have, or notebooks. So here's one, here's another. This one, this one's got a week's, another notebook. This one is like an empty, it's a bullet journal. Here's just another one. Here is, oh, this one was sent to me. It's so cute by one of you guys. Here's one that tracks my month and I even have a massive one. Okay, I'm a little bit over the top on this. Oh, 